there's this saying that says when you're in Rome, you behave like a Roman. I mean, we saw the videos and pictures of Meghan Markle's um, visit to Nigeria. Some Nigerians did not take it well. Some people think she was inappropriately dressed. Some people think the speech or the speech said by the press, the, the, the wife of the president of Nigeria, Mrs. Remy Tunubu, you know, people think that that conversation was actually about Meghan, even though Meghan's name was not mentioned in that conversation. Today's video is from um, GB News. It's titled Meghan Markle's Meghan, Meghan Markle slammed for flashing her body in pro provocative outfits at Nigerian school visits. Um, anyway, what do you guys think about this? Uh, like I mentioned earlier in what my previous videos i think i mentioned that she was raised in america there's a way they dress there and she's so used to that but i also believe that we are visiting just like if i am going to be visiting south africa for example there is a way a south african woman dresses and especially when you are visiting you're on a tour you actually want to love on these people you actually want to you know you want to feel what these people feels you actually want them to love you back right you have to dress the way they dress you have to eat their food you have to have you know those things you know help you to connect with them especially the way they dress i know for the president's wife to actually come out to say that you know anyway um i can't wait to dive into this video with you guys i'm dropping my thought during the course of this video and after this video so it's important that i watch the end so we can have a very meaningful conversation in the comment section below before we dive into it again my name is ogechi if your first time here hello do well to click on the red subscribe button like this video this ogechi reaction welcome to my channel share this video drop a comment and turn on the post notification bell let's dive straight into the video if you thought the election was feisty and personal, Meghan Markle has been slammed by the First Lady of Nigeria for flaunting her nakedness everywhere during her recent visit to the African country. The Duchess of Sussex spent three days in Nigeria earlier this month where she was accompanied by her husband Prince Harry. Meghan made a number of outfit changes during the trip and it seems her fashion was taken as a profound insult by the First Lady. Take a listen. We don't accept nakedness in our culture. They, that, that is not beautiful. It's not beautiful at all. And why did uh, Megan come here looking for Africa? That is something we have to take home with. We know who we are. She actually mentioned Megan's name. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know that. She actually mentioned Megan's name. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And don't lose who you are. Well, for reaction to this growing diplomatic row, I'm delighted to welcome revered royal author and Prince Harry okay. biographer Angela Levin. Angela, lovely to see you again. I've never thought of Meghan Markle as someone who flaunts her body. Are these remarks yeah. a little harsh? No, I think that's absolutely right. I was furious when I saw her. I mean, she went to go to a school that was a very religious school, Muslim school. All the girls had their heads covered and the women, the teachers had think, you know, they twisted cover your shoulders they had that and, a, and some sort of hat and um, she went with a backless dress which went down her side right i personally i personally think that her wardrobe manager did a bad job to be honest her wardrobe manager did a very terrible job i mean yeah that's what I'm going to say about this because I don't. How would you go to a Muslim children's school where and we know the way Muslims dress? They they are usually well covered up. That's the way Muslims dress. They're usually well covered up, and then you go to a Nigerian Muslim children's school and wear a backless dress. Nah, I mean, let's continue the video. Right. I mean, you don't do that. But Anybody. by Western standards, that's not provocative. That's not exactly Madonna, is it? Well, I think it is very provocative because if you go, if she'd been going at representing the royal... Maybe the word is not provocative. Maybe it's the fact that she doesn't respect their culture. Yes, maybe that's what it is. She doesn't respect the way they dress there. Yeah. I think that's what, because if she had, look at the way her husband is dressed. I mean, properly dressed. 
right? Properly dressed. It means that he knows the way they have been dressed. He's not wearing some shorts and then you know armless shirt. Of course, he's also from he's from England, right? He's supposed to be wearing a short and armless shirt. It's a hot country, for example. It's a hot country. But I mean he was properly dressed. Her wardrobe manager did a very bad job, and that's just it. The royal family, they wouldn't go anything, she wouldn't wear anything like that. Mm. But she should know it's common sense that you don't try and yeah. make people angry or embarrass them or flash your body yeah. in those sort of circumstances. I thought it was absolutely appalling. It should see me, I was livid with it. And also again, you know, wearing string tops to it. I thought her choice of clothing what, 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 was absolutely he, terrible. He, here she's dressed quite similarly when you see those pictures just there, quite similarly to some of the people welcoming her. Yes. Um, so so it's, there you go, just take a look at that. I mean, she's wearing the same outfit, more or less, as that young lady who appears to be... Um, yes, but that young lady isn't going as a sort of royal. Hmm. That young lady could, we could be anybody. We didn't, we weren't introduced to her, we don't know. She, they're there trying to mock the royal family, and so they've got to show something which which is dignified, and I don't think that's dignified. I think it's absolutely appalling and completely unnecessary. And, and why do you think uh, that Meghan Markle made those wardrobe choices? What, what might have motivated that choice of outfit? Well, I think she didn't have aids to help her. I mean, the, the royals who, re, who go out, they have a lot of discussion. They have weeks of studying it and what's appropriate mm. and what isn't. But I, my, one of the things I think is that her behaviour, looking like that, so inappropriate, will s sort of slide down to affect the royal family because they had so much that was royal. You know, they're going from one thing to another. Um, and, I, and I think that it wasn't just a visit. It was Harry and Meghan trying to take over from um, the advantage that King Charles and William, Prince William, can't go away. And so therefore they can and they can take it away from the royal family, show they're modern, they're fun and everything else. And also she arrived um, an hour late for a, a meeting which she was supposed to co-run. Um, uh, and, and the woman there was also a very um, intellectual woman. And she was furious with her. She didn't like the way she came with just you know, band here and there. And she didn't like the fact that she actually didn't talk about what was going on in the country. She wasn't caring about that. She was talking about herself and her children yeah. and what it's like being a mom. She was in her head. And, and she said there wasn't interested in that. They came perhaps if you have ideas you can discuss um, commercialization here and all those things and, and she's just very unpopular. I mean, to be fair to the couple, um, they did receive a hero's welcome. It did feel a bit like a royal ah. visit because of the pageantry and the red carpet rolled out, lots of fans, lots of bouquets of flowers. Uh, many would argue of that course. Meghan looked very elegant and very smart. However, um, it definitely rubbed the first lady up the wrong way, didn't it? Yes. And what did she mean when she said that uh, Meghan and Harry or Meghan was looking for Africa. What do you think she meant by that statement? I think she was looking to be very important there because she said, this is my mm. home. This is my country. She'd go there and she'd want to be queen. I mean, she wants to be was queen. Was she implying she that Meghan was somehow appropriating the yes, culture? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Does she have a right to do that considering she has a lineage see, there? The prime minister, the president, refused mm. to see them. Mm. So you get the idea of what they're worried about. Angela, I wish we had longer. We could do an hour. We could do the whole show on this, couldn't we? But can I just very briefly, a couple of seconds, ask you, we reported yesterday on a story uh, circulating that Princess Catherine may not be seen in public until at least 2025. What is your understanding of the situation? My understanding is to shut it all up mm. with us, trying again and again to find out the bunker? date. I think it is bunker. Well, we don't know. I bet you she doesn't know. I bet the doctor doesn't know yet because it's a long um, a long attention to making her well it needs a lot of time and it does hurt you and you um, you can't sort of get better very very quickly and you know they're doing like they did before before she mentioned that she'd had cancer okay. and they should leave her alone and just be quiet and wait and I get you get you'll get about two or three days notice and then she'll do it well there you go we don't know when wise words couldn't agree with you more Angela come back and see us again soon Thank my you. thanks to revered royal author and Harry biographer Angela Levin next up Angela is such a wise woman to be honest I loved her take on 
the latter part of the conversation where you know they men she mentioned he asked her why do you think you know prince the queen um kate princess kate won't be seen in public you know till 2025 and uh, you know she said and to be honest i think she we know that she's battling cancer she actually needs some some time away from the public eye she needs to actually heal she needs to pay so much attention to her health she needs family around and i mean yeah that's what every normal person will do concerning the flashing of body of the prince of prince of um megan markle i still think she didn't care about the culture she had a very bad dress sense. Her wardrobe manager did a very bad job. Maybe she didn't have one. Maybe she had to. But I mean, it's only common sense. When you are going to a particular country, how do they dress? What do they wear? What do they do? How do they even make their hair? What kind of jewelry do they? Do you get? If I be going to the royal household on a visit, I will have to. Okay, how do they dress in the royal household? How do they? comport them themselves how do they talk how do they do this how, you can't just go there dressing like you don't care about how i mean that's what i think personally i would love to know your thoughts about this in the comment section below and also what do you think about the princess kate you know being away from the public eye to 215. I'd love to know your thoughts, your comment contributions about this particular video. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, drop a comment and turn on your post notification bell. I'll see you in my next episode. Bye-bye.